nothing on earth is standing still. It's either growing or it's dying. No matter if it's a tree or a human being, Everybody hopes to have more, to be more. Why? The more we focus on this, the faster and faster we spin. Believing if we let go, that we'll be tossed to the side, left with nothing. Repetition is a form of comfort. Some believe everything we can build starts within. Inside us all is a map. Sometimes it's hard to see. It can't be changed or compared, but even when we seem lost, it's always there. I was born in Australia. My name is John Kay. I've been painting since I was a kid, most of my life now. Yeah, it's important to me. It's a lot of things. It's a way of being in the world. It's a way of sharing something. Firstly though, it forces me to face myself. My thoughts become something I have to consider. Time can feel like it stops, and even though it can seem like an escape, Ultimately, as I move through the process, I bring something into existence. Even if it's ignored or it's hard to comprehend, it's language and it can last forever. Yeah, I've known John for a pretty long time. I feel like he, he, he can just be working on his, on his art full time and then out of nowhere he can just disappear. It's, it's a little bit weird because he doesn't really say anything to anyone, but I feel like, like that, that's just his process. And, you know, I'll see things on the net or he'll send me random, you know, random shit and I won't actually know what he's doing or where he is, but it could be weeks, it could be months, he'll come back, he'll, you know, he'll have all this content. I think that's just regular life to him. That's just the way he paints.
we're just walking past it and noticed it and um, asked the dude across the road, but he didn't own it. So he said that he knew the person that did and went and knocked on the door. And the lady seemed like sweet with it and just kind of gave us a nod so we could do it. Usually they'd, like you'd expect them to be more curious, but they just kind of say like, go ahead and then leave you alone. I don't want them to be clear. My aim is to give the work a hint of something figurative or a feeling, just enough to create ideas. I don't know. <laughs> I think it's the prayer time. I want to try like maybe living in other country maybe a couple of years something like that because I want to learn something. I really love making friends. <laughs> It's really important for me. I, I want to learn something new. I just, in my opinion, you like, if you just stay in one place, you just only what you got in there. You know? If you go traveling, you you learn something new, like different culture, especially in graffiti scene. You know, in other country, always different. When I go traveling, I just follow the locals. I want to know what what local about you know, what they do. You know? Yeah, in here is so many different kind of people, you know, like sometimes you can accept it about it, but sometimes not. <laughs> in here is still illegal. It's not, it's just look like illegal, but actually it's illegal. If you compare with other countries, for sure, it's, it's different here. It's kind of like easy, but for sure you still got trouble here. Depends of the area. Maybe because like, we are more open-minded uh, people. And it's very welcome with other people. If you just ask them first, and then like, uh, it's more polite, you know. For sure, I get in, in jail like many times. When I go bad, I go bombing. Sometimes just pain. Never ask uh, about the war first, and then they just, what are you doing? And then no, you can't pain them uh, after that. Sometimes the Actually, it's not the police. It's a, like a local youth, like a gangster, like a local gangster. Sometimes they beat you, they take your money and then take your stuff. I've been traveling out to some smaller desolate regions away from everything and finding some really interesting areas. I just take whatever paint I can fit on the motorbike and ride for hours sometimes, like until I come across something. Sometimes I don't get to paint, but it's always memorable regardless. Today I was in this village and the people I met were really welcoming. They showed me some places I could paint. There wasn't any running water, so I couldn't clean my brushes. But I still managed to do a few quick things in some really nice spots out here. 
they're all kind of hidden. I'm not sure who will ever see them, but I don't know, I like that. I pick the place carefully. I try and consider the area and the surface. I think about energy, line, flow and feeling when I make these type of paintings. Clarity needs to be blurred, like when two people look at the clouds and see different things, kind of. I like that sometimes we have to challenge ourselves to change our perspective just to understand something from someone else's point of view. I live here in uh, Bantu. Most of the people here are farmers. This is my daily life. So I'm uh, so grateful that you are guys coming here. <laughs> Introducing you something new, maybe. <laughs> you can do all my house, a whole part. <laughs> I was sending to all my my brother and sister. They were surprised. <laughs> I'm very grateful. Yeah. <laughs> Very nice.
Uh, my name is Apri. I live in here, Salaan. I am a mother. I have two children, boys and girls. My my big sister is working make clothes. My little sister, he working uh, at marketplace. And my two brother, shoes market. My mom selling food. I still remember when I was really young and I saw graffiti for the first time. I hadn't been introduced to art in any way. I lived in a small country town in Australia with not a lot going on and then this freight train just flew past covered in graffiti one day. Yeah, it looked so out of place. I couldn't understand what I was seeing and it sped past and then it just disappeared. The impact it had on me at the time was intense, like it stuck with me forever. Just jump back so it doesn't creak out because they could call the police. Do you want to just go for a walk up here a little bit? because I've only got enough paint to probably do one painting. So I just need to make sure it's worth doing before I do it. Boleh saya gambar tembok ini? Oh, mau gambar? Oh, sebentar. Ya. Ya, ya, here. Yeah. <laughs> Australia. There's no offense at some form of bandits. This is the first time I see a foreigner and a tourist painted.
I stopped somewhere to try and find some water and some fuel for the bike. I found a camp next to the train tracks. It was a small little village thing just tucked away under a bridge at the edge of the forest. I think the people were shocked to see me at first. I ended up spending a few hours talking to them. They took me into their home and gave me water and food. They were just telling me stories about their lives. These people were really kind to me. Right before I left, they asked if I'd do a painting there for them. While we'd been talking, I'd noticed that these planes were flying over us constantly, and the long-distance trains there, they'd just been speeding past the village without stopping. I wanted to try and give them something significant. I walked around a little bit, and then I saw this empty abandoned pool at the base of their camp. It was visible from the train line and from the sky. It was a bit of a mess and I had to go back to the city to find a store so I could get supplies to clean it all up. I needed to try and find some brushes and stuff and I wanted to get water-based paint so it wouldn't hurt the environment there. A mop or a broom? Is that right? I think I can do it again. <laughs> oh, fine. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. We're doing um, painting. Oh, it's light? Yes. Oh. I think he's trying to turn the light on. They thought it was hilarious. The fact that I would be doing some housework. She almost didn't serve me because she thought that I was like really confused. She was trying to act out what it does as if I was like buying the wrong thing. It's a good mop. It's really muddy. <sighs> kind of don't have the perfect equipment for this sort of shit. One mop was a bit ambitious with no towels. Drain's full now. <laughs> Fucking mops falling apart. there's nowhere for the water to go because there's no like the only drainage point is blocked this uh all day this ride home is gonna suck Fuck, not it. there's just some things we don't have control over and all of our experiences i think they shape us in different ways It's definitely true that saying that hard times aren't hard to find, but I think it works both ways. I just want to go have a shower. If you really look for the beauty in things, you can learn to find it.
Nothing is ever fucking easy. Some kids come and on a tag in there too. Just because something is a challenge doesn't mean you shouldn't do it. No rain, no flowers. broken vase becomes a thousand blades. We are alone together. As we move through time, life becomes a collection of moments, one after the next. We face situation after situation, experience after experience. Everything becomes a memory, and as the world keeps spinning, we fight to hold on to what we can. Even if we stop and stand still, we are putting pressure on the wind. We exist now in a world forever echoing ripples of light, flashes of color, and fragments of sound clearing the past with what is to follow. Nothing on earth is standing still. It's either growing or it's dying. Everything is alive and nothing is truly ours. We can impact and accept. We can hold our memories close and we can let go can react and we can remember. To remember is to return to the heart, to pass through the heart again and again. As we revisit our memories, we find ourselves. What we do becomes us. We feel it all. And in a cold world, the weight of a full heart creates a warmth we carry with us forever.